The following video is one in a series on Christian Resilience Training, the basic contents of which reflect the beliefs and practices of the video's producer, Chaplain Jeff Dillard. Chaplain Dillard holds to the Old and New Testaments as the inerrant Word of God, and therefore the sole and sufficient standard for our faith and practice in all relationships. Chaplain Dillard initiates creating and posting these videos. Their contents and YouTube's linked videos do not necessarily reflect specific beliefs, practices, requirements, or endorsements of the Department of Defense, its subordinate organizations, or other groups with which Chaplain Dillard is affiliated. Viewing any videos in this series is strictly voluntary. Welcome back. Today we're looking at Matthew 5, 6, where the Lord says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. There's a few things that we can understand and learn from this verse, but first we need to understand what is righteousness. If you're not familiar with the term from the Bible, righteousness is simply the approval of God. If you're in the military, and most who are watching this video probably are in some way or another, you very well understand the importance of having approved access to see somebody. We can't just walk in and see the general whenever we want to. We have to have approved access. Uh, we couldn't go in and see the president or a senator or any other VIP. We have to have their approval for us to be in some type of relationship with them. And that's what righteousness is before God, is his approval to stand before him and to be in relationship with him. In the scripture, uh, that is relationship in prayer, relationship in his favor in our life, his blessing, a relationship in every way by righteousness. Well, the second thing that we need to understand is that righteousness, uh, the scriptures teach us, is by faith in Christ, his finished work on the cross, and his continuing work in our lives so we can follow Christ. Faith in him so we can follow him. Righteousness is about the beginning of the relationship and the rest of the relationship, that we trust in what Jesus has done in our place by dying on the cross in our sins and resting in that finished work so we can live for him. I often tell people who come to me for counseling that no one would get married just for the wedding ceremony. That's like coming to faith in Christ. That's, that's beautiful, and that is a transformational time but you get married for the rest of the relationship, right? In the same way, we have faith in Christ. We rest in Him and trust in His work on the cross so we can have a new relationship uh, with Him and for the rest of our lives. That's what righteousness is. That's what it's for. A third thing that we uh, can learn from this passage is that righteousness is about satisfaction. He says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they'll be satisfied. All of us look for something to satisfy us. And different people turn to different things. Some turn to their reputation, some turn to their possessions, some turn to um, what they look like or how much uh, shape they can get into physically or what they can accomplish, any number of things. But all those things turn to rust and dust eventually. True joy, true satisfaction comes in knowing that you are valued by God, knowing why you are valued by God, because His Son Jesus died in your place, and that's your value. He has literally paid the price of His own Son for you, given you His righteousness, His goodness, so that when He looks on you, He no longer sees your faults, your mistakes, your rebellions. He sees the goodness of His Son. Lastly, the thing we can see from this passage is that righteousness is also a matter of life and death. He says that the righteous are blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. When you're to a point of hunger uh, and thirst, it's a matter of life and death based on what you try to satisfy that hunger and thirst with. If we find something that really brings life, then it quenches our every need, not just our joys, but our needs. And if we try to fill our lives with anything other than what truly brings life, it leads to spiritual death. Very serious, uh, potentially very joyful, but very serious. Hunger and thirst for righteousness as the Lord defines it. 
being in right relationship with Him through His Son. He will satisfy you in every way, now and forever. Hope that's helpful. See you next time. At the release date of this video, I am stationed with Research, Development, and Engineering Command, RDECOM, at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. Because the majority of our personnel are in this area, I spend most of my time here. I do, however, travel to our distant units based on command priorities and budget. I place these videos on YouTube for broad visibility to Army personnel and their families, but I hope the videos will be helpful to others too. If you are assigned to RDECOM and want to request specific topics by video, training on site or by VTC, or confidential counseling on site or by secure webcam, you can contact me at jeffrey.d.dillard.mil at mail.mil.